Hello, there are two types of icons that you see in Studio Press Themes. In this video we are not dealing with Simple Social Icons plugin. Now this is the Simple Social Icons plugin and we are not dealing with this. We're just dealing with icons in text widgets that use HTML code. Luckily changing these icons is easy. So this is typically what we're looking at, these icons here. And you can easily change these by just changing a tiny little bit of code. Uh, Altitude Pro has a similar sort of thing and Remobile Pro has a similar kind of a thing. There are currently two types of code used in the Studio Press themes to make these icons. One is called Dash Icons and the other one is called Ion Icons. Now with Dash Icons all you need to do if you search for WordPress.org Developer Resources Dash Icons, you'll find this page, and you just choose an icon from the page. There's quite a lot of icons to choose from. And when you choose one, it will appear at the top here, and you'll be able to see this where it says Copy HTML. Now, this is for Dash Icons, so if we click Copy HTML, can you see here it's giving you the, the actual HTML, and this is the full code, it's a, a span class. But it's a full piece of code. It goes from span class here to span at the other end, the closing span class. And all you need to do is copy that code. So control C to copy it. Now we need to paste the code into a text widget. Now this particular theme is Altitude Pro. And in Altitude Pro, if you've set your site up like the demo, it will be in front page three widget area. So with appearance, widgets, and then look for front page three widget area. And you need to find the, the code we're using and this is it this is a span class it starts with span class there and there's a closing tag here you can always tell a closing tag because you've got that little forward slash there just before it says span there's a little forward uh, slash so we just need to paste that code in there when we copied and we're going to save that and we'll see what's changed so save it and what we had before we had an email icon there and the little home icon there but I pasted in the home icon again because that's what we copied from dash icons this one we could have picked any of the icons all work in the same way but we chose to put the, the little house icon there so I'll save this and we'll look and see what happens when we refresh our page so a little house like that one is going to appear here so we'll refresh the page I've got two little house icons now you do virtually the same thing with Atmosphere Pro, but these icons come from a different website. So if you're using Atmosphere Pro, you need to go to the ioniconscom website, ioniconscom And all you do is just choose an icon that you like to uh, put on your page, supposing you wanted this one. So we're going to get rid of that little um, rubber ring, and we're going to put this X there. So just click the icon and it gives you some code and just copy that code and then you need to go to your widgets now this one is atmosphere pro the icons in or the text widget in I, uh, atmosphere pro is in front page two so we go to appearance widgets find where the icons are and that's in text uh, front page two in the text widget now if you have a look here you've got to look really carefully we're not replacing the whole code, we're just replacing the part of the code that's got hyphens in it. So if I carefully copy that, or highlight it, I'm going to delete that one and paste in the code that we just copied. Now I've got to save that, and the icon will have changed. So I got rid of this one and I put a different icon there. So I refresh the page, I've got a different icon. Now, I know this can get confusing, so I made you some slides. So if you get confused, if you get stuck, just stop the video at this point and carefully read through the, uh, the slides. The important point is, if you're using dash icons, you copy the full piece of code, this complete piece of code, and paste that into your text widget. If you're using ion icons, you just need this little bit here, that with the hyphen there, and you replace this bit. So read through each one of these. This is the instructions for dash icons. So stop the video and carefully read this if you uh, if you get stuck. 
and for ion icons uh, read this bit and that'll explain how they work as you can see changing these icons is surprisingly easy just make sure you go to the right website for the icons that you, you need for your theme if your site uses dash icons uh, paste the code in full if your site uses ion icons just copy and paste the code with hyphens thanks for watching and bye for now